Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 33, and this is war number seven. And we're going up against an alliance that I cannot say their name. All right, so there you go. Let's uh, go ahead in. You can see I'm doing this nice and early this time. Uh, let's continue. Okay, so um, first thing I like to see is that they didn't ban any of my favorite champions there that I used. They did ban uh, Magneto, Ghost, and Human Torch, but none of the champs that I usually bring in. Let's do a preview and take a look. Aha. Uh -huh. I see why they banned them. All right. So I take path three, sections one and two. So this first node has no one. Second node has Cosmic Ghost Rider. Mm. I can do that fight with Claire. Yeah, I could do that fight with Claire. Ooh. And then we got. Mm. We got Gladiator Hulk. Um. I would really prefer to do that fight with Nick Fury. Let's let's see what else we got. Okay, long shot, mm, man thing, Guardian. Ugh. Again. Um, well, no, I could probably do that fight with a uh, Spider Man if I need to. Um, oh, wow. No one's on that other node. So Colossus, that's Claire. That's interesting. No one on that node. Uh, I'm not used to that. And then you have uh, Hulkbuster. Hmm. Should I? They didn't. Yeah, they didn't ban Hercules. Hmm. And there's no AQ going on right at the moment. Whoops. Um, let's see over here. Ooh, Magneto. Definitely uh, Spider-Man 2099 can do that. I've done that fight before. Let's see. And this fight... is Ugh. see that fight is warlock so i like the team that i have right now but i'm a little wary about that fight there Let's see yeah i don't like the um Static defense. I mean, Claire can do that fight. Yeah, maybe I'll do, because I do have some um, regen boosts expiring. So maybe I will just pop one in there and then just go ahead. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go in with this team and let's see how well we do. All right, I'll be right back. All right, we are back and we're gonna get in there. And well, I will tell you more about what happened when we get to that fight. But anyway, so I don't have anybody on that first node. So no problem there. First fight's gonna be against this Cosmic Ghost Rider. And I'm not too worried about it. Um, Claire should be able to handle it. You see that unstoppable armor? That seems to be what everybody chooses now. And I hope Kabam takes note of that. There's a reason everybody keeps choosing unstoppable armor. It is very OP. It's lopsided. Um, and I hate it. Personally, I hate it. I hope they do something about it for the next uh, season. But I don't know. I don't know if they will. All right. So we're going in here. Standard fight. I'm able to take away the armors. But you see how I'm trying to be a little bit cautious, not running in there? See that? I didn't even do a full five-hit combo, and it's a good thing I didn't. That unstoppable. 
really don't like it. It breaks up my flow of fighting, you know, because now I have to kind of wait, stutter, step, don't do full, full five hit combos. I'm not really enjoying that at all. Um, wasn't a problem there. But let's see the next fight. The next fight is a little different. So because I didn't have anybody on their first node, I usually uh, try to take the mini here. And the mini is Gladiator Hulk. Okay. So I don't think I've fought him on this node before. So I'm looking over and I'm like, okay, Claire should be able to do it. But he also benefits from that unstoppable armor, which is why they put him there. So I'm like, all right, may as well just go in so I can see how it is. I, I don't remember fighting a Gladiator Hulk on Unstoppable Armor. So you see, I put, you know, boost on, may as well. I have some of them expiring. And I'm like, okay, let's see how this goes. I'm going to try to play it a little bit slow. All right. Purified. Yeah, yeah. Great masochism. And so he's going to be healing a little bit. And I'm like, okay, well, that's not a problem because there's a, you know, timer for masochism. But we also have a timer for unstoppable armor. And so I got timers all over the place that I'm trying to keep track of. Then you got the smash that you also have to watch for or else he's going to smash you. All right. So look at this. So far, everything is going great right now. Okay. I'm keeping track. I'm watching. Look at this. That smash keeps on popping up. Then you got the unstoppable. And I'm just like, good night. That's too much. And then boom, masochism. Now he regen. I'm like, what is going on here? What is going on? Look at my health. That shock is now, boom, and I'm dead. Just that fast, I'm down. And if you don't know what happened, unstoppable armor happened. I went in and after, you know, keeping track of all of that stuff, I lost track and he popped it up, went unstoppable and instantly attacked me. No chance to recover, no chance to um, see what was going on and react. Nothing. Just boom, instant death. Now, maybe some of you younger folk can uh, react fast enough to have handled that situation. I couldn't. I do not like unstoppable armor. So that was a death, and I'm not even out of section one. But at least it was on a mini. So, of course, I went back in there. You know me. I'm not about to let him get away with that. He's not going home to tell his friends what he did to me. Not having it, okay? So I'm just going back in, and you already know I'm pissed, right? But I got a cool anger going on right now. Just cool. And I'm like, yeah. Because I knew that the first time I hit him with a special two, it went down to less than half his health. He didn't have that much left, so I figured I just gotta build up to another special two and finish him off. So, one death, but we got it, okay? Now, when I came back, they had already cleared uh, everything really up to the boss, and we do get to fight the boss. So, we got the middle here, already cleared. Uh, they already cleared the uh, mini. And we've got a standard Colossus fight. Even with unstoppable armor, Claire is still, to me, the best option for this node and for Colossus. You just have to be careful. You have to watch and um, just basically don't do five hit combos, but you have to watch that timer and just play around it. But I, I hate unstoppable armor. It gives me more things that I have to deal with. And on certain fights, like you just saw, it becomes so many that it's easy to lose track of one of them, you know? So it was a good placement for him to do just what it did. Confuse me. I got to watch for his smash. You got masochism you got to deal with. And then you got the unstoppable armor you got to watch for. So not a, not a fun fight. Not a fun fight at all. All right. But you've seen me do this fight many, many, many times. All right, but this is the last fight that I have before the boss. So 
while we're doing this fight, I'll tell you a little bit about uh, the boss fight. So I'm gonna be fighting Magneto. I don't remember if this is the first Magneto fight with Spider-Man 2099. I can't remember. But what you're gonna see me do in this fight is boost up with power boosts. Now, here's the thing about Spider-Man 2099. Power boosts are not as useful. They're still useful, but they're not as useful for him because power boosts are based on the damage that you do, but not all damage types. So he does a lot of red damage, just like High, um, Hercules does. Does a lot of red damage. It does not count that. So I boosted up. You know, and I was thinking, okay, I'm a boost up. And, you know, when I boost up with like, say Corvus, it's insane. The power back boost with Corvus and with Ghost is insane. Okay, you just start spamming back to back special twos. And so I'm thinking I can do something similar with Spider-Man 2099. No, because his damage is red damage. See, basically his damage is not direct um he does crit and he does of course the white damage but the majority of his damage comes from the uh bursting or the rupturing uh and those rupture blasts so he does a lot of red damage which doesn't count so i was fighting and i was like why am i not getting a lot of power back i am getting some power back but not a lot that's why okay so it's useful it's just not as OP as it is with some other folks. All right. So here is Spider-Man 2099 and Magneto. And that is Magneto down. Spider-Man 2099 tore him up. My basic strategy is to get to a special three 
which puts that really, really long slow on him, and then just fight him. Intercept, bait out his heavy attacks. And that's it. All right, so uh, we'll have a brief intermission, and we'll be back, and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back, and as you can see, we won this war. So that's gonna do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day. Thank you.